Hello everyone, this is Aaron White with Heritage Auctions. I'm a consignment director with the Comic and Comic Art Division. I hope everyone's well. I just wanted to touch base this week. We have some uh, cool lots coming up in this week's uh, Comic and Comic Art Auction. I'm sure you saw last week's auction, uh, finished Sunday and Monday respectively. A lot of really cool stuff came up. Uh, people have asked how the market's doing. Uh, we had some tremendous results. Uh, for example, if you check last week's auction, lot 15011, Amazing Adventures number four, it's an 8.5. That sold for $4,080, which is much more than we would have expected. Uh, but this is what we've been seeing. The, the uh, Golden Age, uh, uh, 1950s, early 50s, uh, kind of weird uh, covers uh, as kind of more esoteric material. It's doing really, really well. Uh, a lot of demand. Uh, for example, uh, this is a little earlier, but Hangman number six. Uh, we had a copy in Good, Very Good. Uh, and it's, I think, the third copy we've seen in the last 10 years here at Heritage. Uh, and this copy uh, brought uh, $2,400, $2,400, and that was lot 15160. Like I said, Hangman 6 in uh, Good, Very Good. So, very exciting. Uh, a lot of interest in comics right now. Uh, and even uh, some books that you see pretty frequently in our auctions. We had an X-Men 1 in 3.5, uh, very good minus. Uh, that was $5,040, which I think that that's the most we've sold a 3.5 for maybe ever, uh, at least in the last few years. Uh, so that's sort of in line. Uh, we had a, a Spider-Man 129 and 92. Uh, I think that was $1,980, which and that book's averaging six months, about $2,000 in 92. So uh, the market's pretty steady if, if you're curious about how that's working. Uh, but please look through the auction archives at the auction last week, uh, and you'll get a, a idea sort of of where we are. Uh, in terms of this week's auction, though, that's kind of what I wanted to talk about. I, I found a few books uh, that I thought were very cool. I wanted to to share a uh, lot. 17297, uh, Space Ghost 1, the first Space Ghost comic book. Uh, this is a 9 6. Uh, this is a gold key book, uh, a one shot based on the classic. TV series. Uh, there are three nine sixes. Only one's nicer. So if you're looking for a high grade copy of this book, this is your chance. Uh, very cool. I, I always liked Space Ghost as a kid. I always thought he was uh, kind of underrated. Uh, we got a Marvel Spotlight five. Uh, that's coming in lot one seven two four three. Uh, Marvel Spotlight five. That's going to be an eight five. So a uh, very fine plus. Uh, first appearance of Ghost Rider, if you don't know. Uh, uh, Johnny Blaze out there uh, starting the, some of the cool supernatural stuff for Marvel in the 70s. Uh, I think uh, currently number eight on the Overstreet Top 25 Bronze Age comics list. So it's a very cool book. And this book, I will note, is from the collection of Kevin Michael McFadden. If you're curious about that, that's kind of a cool note. Oh, this is cool. Uh, lot 17226, Lightning Comics number six. This is a book that I've never seen. This is a new book to me. Uh, very cool. And it's not just new to me. This is a very rare book. It's hard to find. Uh, Gerber uh, gives it a seven. It's scarce on their scarcity index. It's the first copy we've ever sold. Uh, this uh, copy is a good, very good uh, let's see, Overstreet on a VG copy would be $270. Right now, the bid uh, has a hammer of $410 as I'm recording this now, so I expect this is going to continue to go on because if you want this book, this might be one of your only opportunities to get it. Very hard to find, uh, so if you're into cool Golden Age books, it's one to grab. Uh, let's see. Oh, I love Mark Bagley. I grew up reading uh, Spider-Man, and he was doing a lot of great work on Spider-Man uh, in the 90s and then continued uh, with Ultimate Spider-Man. Uh, but 
he uh, a few years ago jumped on to uh, X-Men, All New X-Men, and we've got the covered All New X-Men number 12, and that's going to be lot 17409. And here you've got a time-displaced Warren Worthington with his uh, flaming cosmic wings hanging out with Laura Kinney, and they dated. Uh, she is X-23, the clone of Wolverine. I think at this point she was the Wolverine. Uh, but uh, uh, a cool cover. You know, something else I noticed is we've got another cover in this uh, auction this week that has uh, the regular Warren Worthington, Archangel, with Psylocke, who he was dating at the time, I think 1996. So I think that's interesting. You've got, we've got two covers of angels with uh, their respective partners at the time. I don't know. That was neat. Anyway, uh, these are just a few of the lots that we have in this week's auction. Uh, obviously, every week we've got a ton of great, great material. So please uh, take a look. If you have any questions, please reach out to us. Uh, we'd be very happy to, to answer any questions you have about upcoming lots, or maybe you have some cool material in your collection you're thinking about selling, consigning, uh, offering at auction as well. We could definitely help with that. Uh, either way, uh, let us know what you think. Uh, and I am going to take off. I'll see you next week.